Okay, I want to welcome everybody. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be looking at some different um, methods, just showing you some different methods of how um, I come up with like drawing figures. Okay, uh, I'm not the best person. Okay, uh, at drawing uh, figures, I'm not very good at drawing poses. Uh, the human body, you know, the human uh, figure in different poses is very, very hard for me. But I'm, I'm very inspired by many different um, uh, methods and I try to study many different methods of doing it. I read a lot of ebooks, I watch a lot of videos online and I'm always practicing. Now I'm going to show you a few images first, a few images. So this image here you can see is um, just a scribbled sketch of like a basic figure. And then what I did is I did the hands and the arms on top of each other. Okay, there. Okay. Now, um, there is actually a video online where I'm showing you some animation as well, so I won't go through this now, but um, there's another video I've got online where I'm showing animation, and I'll show you that again in another video, how you can move different pieces on different layers. Now, let me show you something else. <coughs> here, uh, in these pictures, okay, look at this one here, for example, in this picture, we've got blocks. <clears throat> so on the left hand side okay you got like this figure that I drew made in my mind from like basic cube shapes and blocks and spheres and you can do that you can use like spheres you can use lines just simple lines like stick figure type stuff but you can use blocks imagining everything as blocks like cubes and rectangles shaped and sized in different ways with spheres for the joints certain joints and then a <coughs> excuse me <coughs> and then also um, cylinders and things you can use too so I started off with this and then I drew on top of it and I came up with this um, karate <laughs> guy here and I just moved the image across to the other side and I added some colors so if I move along here okay you can see how I did the same thing again <coughs> please please excuse me I have a bad throat guys <coughs> oh, please excuse me I've got a bad throat, okay, I'm very sorry. But here you can see yeah, um, a similar thing, okay? So it's not great art, I know, but you can see how I'm trying to imagine proportions and positions. In this next one, uh, again, another example, okay? So you can see the image on the left, how I've got cubes and things, and then I've got this character here. <coughs> We're going to do a few of those now. I'm going to do... I'm gonna do another one now okay um, well I'm gonna show you a few different methods is what I'm gonna do okay really really quickly we're not gonna take too much time on this in this video I'm just gonna show you a few methods of how you can s sketch a few positions for figures okay and a few methods that I like to do so I'll just show you really really quickly I'll start with a basic reference and then what I'll do is I'll draw on top so what I usually do is really quickly I'll, sometimes I'll just literally start I'll show you a few <clears throat> I'll start with like um, a circle for the head let's say and a circle for the body and then just do two lines and two like that you know literally <laughs> two lines for the arms two arms for the two lines for the legs I could have uh, someone like that the legs could be walking or whatever the guy could be here holding his head or whatever then you could do it a different way. You could have it like you could have the head and you could even do the neck and you could do the torso and then another line down and then do the waist and hips, you see. And it's the same thing for the for the arms and legs, you do lines. Like wavy like noodle like type legs, you know. <laughs> you can do a line also from the neck all the way down, like the spine by the way, as you do that, if you want to do that. <coughs> um for the arms you can of course do other things like have a, a line across for the shoulders and a line across for the hips okay you can do that in the very beginning like do a line across to show where those are position wise and size wise um, you know um, you can also have things like um, you know I could do the the character do the shoulders and then do circles for the joints where the shoulders are going to be you know and then do that just do um I could straight up go in do a body you know and then go down the, the torso this is like the rib cage rib cage area and then do the hips usually it's like the 
for the men it's like a wider torso and a narrower or similar like um pelvis area the the the, the, the waist you know but for women it's usually like a smaller one apparently you go there and you got like a wider one for the hips for women okay now um basically um you know yeah same thing so you can do like the um the lines for the the hips you can have them on different angles and stuff you could even put like joints if you wanted to do it like that but i don't usually do that and then you just literally do the arms and legs so i could do that i could bend the knee i can do it straight or i can do it wavy either way you know this one might be a straight one let's say there remember where the knee is you can put a little point if you wish to to show where that is and you can do simple things like little square shapes for the feet if you want to do that see or circles or triangles depending on the shape of how they're going to be <clears throat> you know this one again could be holding his head let's say or something this one's got the hand on the hip there so i'm just working that out but sometimes i really find it's really crazy like this this first one here this number one here this one is like a really an easy way of working things i feel you know it really really is um it is really an easy way of doing working things like for example if i if i do that okay if i go there and do that it's really really easy like i can imagine where the head is there that head is either in front or behind i could do it like there it could be smaller or bigger i can have a big head whatever you see and even though it's not divided into two parts like this and the body and then the hips or like even just imagining like the torso here and the hips here like as, even though I'm not bothering or just or even just imagining like two you see and then just imagining a line in between chest that and then the hips you know you know and the chest see? Even, even though I'm not doing that even if it's like just one circle I can still kind of see it still can see and the line doesn't have to always be here like for, for the shoulders and hips like I can have it like the arm can be here see just imagining either side I can do it the other side or I can just imagine that this line is going across see, to the other side now obviously it may not be really fat like that the body might be here see but it's like the basic thing is like I'm just imagining that okay so and I can just do two legs here now when I turn that make it like fainter and I bring that down slightly fainter they go on another layer I can draw properly I can do that I can do the arm here and I can do the body a certain way and, and shape it this is just things that I like to do so I won't be following the actual circular shape of whatever it's going to be you know <clears throat> I'm just following the position so like the same with this one here see the head might be here the shoulders are clearly here so if I go back on that layer and just do some arms let's say and he's drinking a coca-cola or whatever so for example i go there see and i can literally imagine that he's drinking that coca-cola you know and then um, maybe the other arms about there let's say on it on his hip and we're looking down right and then the legs are like there it's not the best there yeah, perspective wise but you see you, you get the basic idea of what i'm trying to say yeah so this could be like the character there looking at it from different angles see so you know and then this big head character so it might be something else but you know you just work with the basic shapes I'm saying right it's not the best example sorry but I'm just saying that so that's one way you can do it we're just going kind of quickly through this in this video okay um, <clears throat> so I've shown you blocks I've shown you cylinders and cubes we'll go over these in other videos as well you can also do things another way like you can do things like you can start off with like let's say a circle for the head and you might want to do things like a more triangular like, I might do the body here and then the hips here let's say I want to make this uh, I don't know any kind of character it could be a female I could do a, the chest here these are not the best looking boobs but you know <laughs> you could have a little little neck don't make it too muscular the shoulders if it's a woman but you know and then you could do like triangles like here like this you see how I'm using triangles now uh, triangular almost like triangular shapes and squared off shapes and then the same for the legs see coming here so you've got this kind of thing going on here see um, you could have a leg here see and then from the from there you can put some knee shapes if you want to do that put that in or just come from there to the muscle bit there 
and then just work the feet like squared off shapes like that see you could even do the chin if you wanted to do it a bit like that and then you just put your hair and everything and then what you do is you go on another layer you make that fainter and go on another layer and you literally draw it nicely you know so you don't, your woman have your woman however you want to have her <laughs> which is yours but no, you know, um, uh, you know I'm not drawing a perfect woman obviously here because she's looking a bit this and that you know <laughs> but you know you get the idea though I right? get the basic shape and you could like work and do much better art on top you know in a, in a dress or something do the dress here or skirt or whatever and then just do nice rounder legs and stuff you know and just get your basic shapes in you know what I'm saying I mean, just get some basic um so but that's what I've been basically practicing stuff like this <laughs> but no <laughs> So, um, you know, you've got different shapes you can do. So you can work with these kind of like triangular kind of shapes as well, you see. We're going we're gonna to need to stop this video in a moment because there's a limit to like 15 minutes, okay? Uh, the way I've got it set up but currently. But these are different things you can do. So you can work with circles that you imagine as spheres. So I can have a line across where the eyes are going to be here, see? You could have the same for the body. The, or we could use a cube in this case, this, say, uh, you know. Or a rectangle, you see, and you can imagine these lines are where the center is going to be, or maybe a little higher for the chest. This is the the eye, the eye line will be here. Let's say the nose. You see, when you draw a face, you do that. The eyes, see, and you can imagine the nose here somewhere there, and just to work things out. See, so we're having that there. On if this was a sphere, let's say, you'd have that on the side there, and you'd have another for the ear. You see, so you're working these guidelines out. So you'd have a sphere, let's say. Or let's say a cube, okay, let's say a cube then. Either way, you have to understand how to draw a 3D cube. But this could be where the ear is going to be. You see this line in the middle here, you can imagine eyes on that line. Put a nose here and a, and a, and a face there. You could actually make that longer, obviously, and do it different ways for the chin. Or different things, you know, work it different ways. When you actually draw your real character, you know, on top. Well, I have to stop this video very soon. I'm kind of rushing, I know, but, you know, um, I hope this is useful to people, okay? I'm going to continue in the next video. So let's see you in the next video, and thank you for watching.